Okay, I'm not in my usual corner. Angelina is up there. That's okay. She can stay in my corner. She can go anywhere she wants. It's her screen. I'm just here to talk about it. So now this one is uh, Angelina Jordan at age 11. The same age as uh, all the other rehearsal and performance videos we've been watching lately. And it's Diamonds Are Forever, Enhanced Audio. And I can't wait to watch this one. I've seen this before, this performance, and her singing this song. And... She just does a great job with a song, you know. You don't, we're not used to hearing Angelina Power Belt, and uh, here she has a, a few opportunities to do that. So let us watch. This one's from Kaleidoscope RMX. They do a fantastic job uh, with their uh, with the videos they put out. So commend rec I recommend you visit their site, but also kudos to them, right? So she they're bringing us a uh, an audio enhanced version. Let's watch. <laughs> Diamonds are forever They are all I need to please me They can stimulate and tease me Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Almost takes your breath away, doesn't it? It's like the, uh, uh, the way the song was written, I suppose, uh, this intro. Pulls you right in, doesn't it? There we are. I don't know about you, but I'm sitting in the seat next to them ladies there. <laughs> huh? Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, befuddlement and amazement at what's going on. This little girl singing this song, right? We can't wait to hear it. And uh, just the, the just the music really kind of sets sets a tone there. I don't think I ever noticed that before, but right here it's like those you're watching those two ladies with their face there. Here, let's go back. Yeah, these two, these two ladies. Well, and more, I guess. This lady back in here. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I do this too when I'm thinking. 
uh, over here too. You know, it's 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 a beautiful. It's really it's really drawing us in, isn't it? Me too. I'm gonna. I want to sit right down here, right next to him, over in here someplace, and uh, listen to the song. So yeah, it starts off before even Angelina has even sung one note. We're already being set up here for uh, uh, to enjoy the performance. So let's go ahead and keep listening. Diamonds are forever. They are all I need to please me. They can stimulate and tease me. It's not just the voice, man. She can. Uh, first of all, she's putting on some miles here. She's back and forth. She's all over the stage, and I, I'm not complaining. I'm just noticing. And uh, <laughs> then she's got a little bit of dramatic flair. But I don't know if, it, in her case, it may be dramatic flair. She may practice moves like that and stuff like that to put into a song. But I think most of the stuff comes right from her. It flows right from her freely. Uh, she just expresses herself through music. Remember, she said in that interview one time that uh, singing was like breathing to her. So, and then we know she loves her audiences too. So, let's go ahead and uh, keep watching. That's like perfect, isn't it? The way she sang that. It's like, it's flawless. It's powerful, it's strong, it's beautiful, and it's it, it, there's no breaks in it. It's smooth. Oh, man. That's why we love Angelina.
you can see in some of these moments here, sorry, moving around here again. I like over in the right-hand top corner. I don't know why. The, um, you can see, if you watch Angelina's facial expressions, the thing, I, I'm just amazed a lot of times that she, she's completely and totally aware of everything that's going on around her if you ever watch her like that. And that's, uh, not a lot of people are that aware of their surroundings. If you don't believe me, go get in your car and drive around the block one time. <laughs> but most people are aware of what's in maybe immediately around their surroundings, you know, like them, you know, th that's it. And they don't really pay attention to what's going on in a, in a broader sense. Uh, some people, I'm not saying everybody, but it seems like every time I drive my car, man, those people are all each in their own individual world. Nope, sorry, my dogs are going to protect me from a jogger just going by. So, um, yeah, so if you watch Angelina, but then she has these moments where you see she kind of slips in and out of that. Uh, remember she said she when she sings, she goes to this special place. Uh, and uh, it's there's some moments like that, that you'll see here and there. But they're all, it's kind of like, uh, salt and pepper, if you will. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's sprinkled over the whole thing. She's completely and totally aware of everything. And she, I mean, she even, at times, she even uh, looks at the audience and you see her uh, making like eye contact or make, you know, even sometimes little gestures. Oh, it's amazing. Just amazing. <laughs> Yeah, you tell me. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. I did a... I did... A, <laughs> I shouldn't even bring this up, but I'm gonna... You know why? Because I'm, I'm Steve and that's what I do. I bring things up that I, I should talk about things I shouldn't talk about that may seem to be irrelevant, and they probably are, but I don't know if they're totally irrelevant. But uh, I think I did a mashup with Angelina and Shirley Bassey uh, some a long time ago. But I've only been doing this for like five months. But I think it was like way back at the beginning I did a mashup. And I was not, I'm not good at the mashups. I, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's, you got to have a certain talent. Kaleidoscope, fantastic. They do fantastic work, uh, especially with like mashups and things. They do awesome. And they're, I mean, they're not, and they're not the only ones, but they do particularly a good job, I believe. And you know what it is with Kaleidoscope? I think their heart's in it, and, you know, uh, I think everybody's heart's in it to a certain degree. We all love Angelina, you know, but some people just take a little bit of extra love love and tenderness and care. Apparently, I don't have that in me. <laughs> I think I do in a lot of ways, but as far as making mashups, yeah, I don't know. The only one I really did that I thought was really, uh, there was two that I did that I thought were good. Well, here, I'm not going to talk about me. Let's talk to about Angelina. So, yeah, look at her. She's smiling. She's happy. This guy back here, he's pleased with uh, how everything went. Um, you know, it's just, a, it's infectious, really, how, how good she is, and it just spreads uh, throughout whoever's listening, I guess. And uh, Shirley Bassey, when I did the, the little mashup thing, uh, you know, Angelina's right there. I mean, Shirley Bassey's, well, is known from a powerful, a powerful voice. And when she sang this song in the Bond movie, it was really, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, to me, it sets, the, it sets the stage and the tone for the whole movie, just that song. And, uh, you know, a lot of uh, movie songs get known to be because they're in that movie, right? But, uh, yeah, especially the Bond song, you know, they kind of set a tone. So I think Angelina would do really well. Uh, I think uh, the, the Bond people ought to think about putting Angelina in there because she, she's really, this is her, man. Okay, let's wrap it up. Sorry to take so much of your time. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I sure did. And it's not often that we get to hear Angelina belt and uh, have a little fun. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.